Hey guys and welcome! Asian Network is again with you all so you can learn something new. And what is on today's menu? Let's see. Today is Microsoft Word, another lesson for all of you. Uh, basically I will be saving a document, opening a document, I will show you how to make a copy of the document and similar stuff. But before I show you, don't forget to subscribe, like or dislike, and share. No, so let's start. So, everybody, here is the document that I've created through last couple of videos. Okay, letter. And now it is time to save this letter. Of course. We don't want to lose it. Uh, basically, this letter is already saved on our computer, but inside temporary document file. That is why we need to save it for permanently on, let's say, your computer, cloud storage, on your flash drive, wherever you want. Where, <laughs> wherever you want. <laughs> Sorry. So, before I show you how to save, I will just select this surname of this person, of this customer. Right click on it and click copy. Why? I will show you just in a bit. Ok, now to save it, I need to click File tab and click Save. But here is already a strange thing. When I click Save, it jumped to Save As. That is only because this document was not permanently saved on your computer or wherever. And that is why it jumped to save as. Because you are saving this temporary document as document wherever you want to be. But if this document is already saved, you can just click save and it will save it and return it back to this window. To this save as you can just get by pressing this button save. So you can get to this page on two different methods. And here we need to select where do we want to save it. We want to save it on this computer, on this personal computer, this PC however you want to save it. You can also save it, let's say, to OneDrive, to cloud storage, to some other place, whatever you want. But, but for this video purpose, I will save it to this computer and now I will just click this button Browse. And this window pops up. Now, you can select where to save. In my case, let's say desktop. If you plugged in, let's say, USB flash drive, you can click USB flash drive, which will appear down here. You can also click on local disk, wherever you want. Let's say on desktop. You can also create a folder, you know. Create a folder, name it, press enter, uh, click on the folder to enter it, and save there a uh, file however you want, but I will save it directly to desktop. Ok, so when this window opens, I will just click desktop, click somewhere empty in this white space, and as we see, whole line appears select. And now, markowain.x. Dots .x is a default extension type for Word documents. And Marco Wayne is are two words that appears in the on the very beginning of the document, uh, if you remember. But we will rename it to some other name. Let's say letter for Mister. And now I can just right click over here and just click paste. And basically, that is why I copied the Schwarzkopf surname from the document itself. 
so I do not mistype the surname of that customer. And now we can just leave it as it is, or we can just add dot dots x, however you want. But let's say if we remove, we you can also save it to many different formats. You have Word document dots x. If we click on it, we get a lot of different uh, types. Older type of Word documents were saved in dots doc to, till Word 2003. Every single later version of Word is saved in dots x. And you can also use dots, but I do not recommend it because dots x is newer and many more functions that old version of dots did not have. So just select the type you want to save, click on it and just now click save. And the document saved. And now let's say you need to go, let's say you now can close this window, turn off computer and that's it. Let's say you turn laptop on, computer you turn it on and here it is. On desktop is this document that we just saved. And now, what now? Let's say we want to make the same letter for the different person. So now I can just double click on it or single click depending on your settings of your windows, how you open the, uh, some files, or you can just click right mouse click and click open, whatever you want. And document is shown. And now let's say we want to send it to some other person. Let's say we can just select John Swatchkov and just start typing. Let's say Mia Mia Malora. And I just changed the <laughs> Mia as Mrs course. So, Miss Mia Malora made up name, made up surname, made up home address and so on. And of course we need to change uh, Mr. Schwarzkopf to Miss Mia Malora. We can just copy it, select Mr. Schwarzkopf and just paste it. And of course we need to do the same down here. But here I will just remove Mia, dear Mr. Mia, uh, and Mrs. Mia, sorry, and here, and basically that's it, it. And here comes the most common mistake people make. So I could just click this save icon button, or go to file and save, but this would be big mistake. Why? Because we re are residing currently in letter for Mr. Schwarzkopf dot dot six document, not a letter for Mrs. Malora. So we need to save this document which we edited to a separate document. So we need to click file and save as, not save, save as. Click this PC. I can just select this current folder desktop, you can click browse however you want and we can just remove Mr. Malora, click save and that's it, letter for Miss Malora and now when I close it you automatically see both of these documents over here. Okay. So next, let's say you have documents somewhere on your computer, on USB flash drive and so on, and you want to know how to open this document. We have op uh, open Microsoft Word program. We can open it by clicking open other documents. Click on it. You can select this PC and click browse and just go wherever you want to go. 
your your local disk desktop or wherever you have that document and you can just click let's say letter for miss malora click on it and click open and document is open let's say when you already have opened some letter some document and you want to open some another document let's say letter for mr shotskov it is very easy again we just need to go to file and we can click open this pc uh, as you see under recent i get all these documents that i recently saved so we can just click here letter for mr shotskov or just click click this pc click browse go to desktop and click uh, Mr. Schwarzkopf and here it is down here we see that we have both letters open another thing that I want to show you is now when you are inside let's say this dear Mr. Schwarzkopf you scroll down and let's say you delete this line you can just click this save or go file and save and document is saved another thing that i want to show you is that you can open brand new word document just by pressing right mouse button on the any of these documents you have opened and just click word 2016 and you'll get this first screen open but for presentation purposes let's say you've created some document i will just select this letter designer that is just to show you one thing and let's say you've created this document and you want to close it and when you click on it you forget oh i did not save it don't worry microsoft word by default if that document is not saved in current document or it is not saved permanently in any document it will pop up the window just like this one so want to save your changes to document 2 document 2 is temporary document as i said before before we had document 1 for mr schwarzko so we can save it we can click don't save and basically this word document will close and we will lose this document or we can just click cancel that means that we will, won't save it but keep this document open so just to show you if i click save and let's say go to desktop i will just leave your name.x and click save document is saved it automatically saves and close the document next is don't save if we look click don't save as you see document closes and you uh, lose everything inside of document so beware of clicking this uh, button and last one cancel if you click on it document will be stayed open it will not be permanently saved and now you can just edit it until the end click close you can save it oh, but in my case i do not want it i will just click don't save and now let's say this document extra document that i do not need i can just right click on it and delete it and that is basically it so that was it for today i hope you liked the video if you have any questions, wanna just say hello, whatever, just type everything below this video in comment section. And until next time, have a nice time, thank you for watching and bye bye! If you have any questions, did not understand something, want to ask me something, want just to talk, just type everything in comment section below. Don't forget to like or dislike this video. Subscribe to my channel so you get notified about new videos. Share video with your friends, co-workers and others so they can learn too. And have a great day. Bye bye.